Welcome to uh, The Leather Journey. And tonight we're gonna start a new series, a new sequence or playlist, if you will, uh, about clamps. And uh, as some of you subscribers out there know, we've, we've rebranded the channel. What was formerly BDSM Dungeon Play is now The Leather Journey. And we're gonna uh, provide a broader a uh, broader spectrum of content for you. But we haven't done anything really in, on clamps, so we're gonna do uh, an introductory video. This one we'll consider kind of munch level introduction to clamps. And then if you're interested in more detailed instruction, more detailed information about different styles of clamps and their uses and some demonstration of the uses of those clamps, uh, then consider perhaps joining the channel uh, and becoming a member and showing a, showing a little love by supporting, even if it's just at the 99 cent per month level. But uh, the, for an introduction, uh, perhaps you would hear some of this conversation discreetly talked about at a munch there are basically four different designs, general designs that clamps come in. So what is the general purpose of a clamp? Well, the most simple clamp that you would come across is just a clothespin or clothespin-like device. And the clamp's basic function is to restrict the flow of blood in a portion of the body. It could be literally anywhere where you could put that clamp. So the clamp restricts the flow of blood in a certain area of the skin, uh, or tissue or muscle, uh, and then when the cramp, clamp's removed, blood rushes back into that area and the circulation's restored. So if the clamp's uh, held on long enough to restrict the blood, the longer it's held on, the more of a sensation you're gonna have when the blood flow returns to that area of the skin. So somebody out there is gonna say, well, how long can you safely leave a clamp on? And I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I've been in the leather lifestyle for 23 years. So I'm gonna give you some general rules of thumb because yes, you can leave a clamp on too long and you could potentially damage the tissue or the nerves uh, or the, the muscle depending on where it's attached. So my general rule of thumb is not longer than 20 minutes and then you should allow the blood to be restored in that area. But generally in play, I even do less than that. I generally use three songs as my guideline. Uh, song being three to four minutes long on a radio cut. So if you have three or four songs, you're looking at, at anywhere between nine and 12 minutes. Uh, and generally, you can get a pretty good sensation going in a 12-minute period. You don't have to leave it on for 20 minutes, but don't leave it on more than 20 minutes. So, types of clamps. Ones that clip on that are held by some type of spring pressure, and you can have those as simple as a clothespin to one that, that, that's got a little plastisol on the tip so that it grips the skin better and a little bit more pressure than your standard clothespin would be. But these come in all different shapes, sizes, and strengths of tension. The other style clamp that's very common is what we're gonna call an adjustable tweezer style clamp. Kinda looks like tweezers. Again, it's got some plastisol on the tips. And then this little ring allows the tension it to be tightened or loosened, the tension to be tightened or loosened. So tweezer style, that's another very common style clamp. The third style of clamp I'm gonna show you is kind of a engineering technological wonder. They're called Japanese clover leaf clamps or clover clamps. And you pinch them open and then they they go around, you know, a portion of the skin or the body. And the interesting thing about these clamps is they'll have a certain amount of spring tension, but then if you 
pull on the chain, pulling the chain tightens the jaws of the clamp. So it's even a little tighter when it's under some tension. So Jap Japanese clover leaf clamps, we'll look at those in a future video. For, for a members only video, we'll go into more detail. Then the other type of clamp, and these come in all different design shapes, sizes, uh, would be any type of clamp that has some sort of screwing mechanism to loosen or tighten it. So we're gonna call them a mechanical clamp that has a screw, uh, you know, some sort of tightening mechanism. In this instance, it's a screw that loosens or tightens uh, this style of clamp. So that's the four basic types that we're gonna cover. The, the clip-on or clothespin style, the tweezer, the clover leaf, and something with a mechanical assist that allows it to be tightened or loosened. Okay, so that's it for our introduction. We're gonna take each of these types and go into more detail, uh, more instructional detail in the members only section. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.